Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we are taking our first hands-on look at Windows 10 technical preview for uh, Windows Phone. Like I mentioned earlier, it's available on the Lumia 630, 635, 36, 38, 730, and the 830. I have the AT&T version of the 830 here, and we are taking a look at a Windows 10 technical preview. So, so let's start off from the lock screen. Lock screen is still the same. Um, of course, if you have the new lock screen apps, you can use that. And we go to our start screen here. Our start screen is a little different. You can see it's much better transparent tile, so you can see Colossus there. Uh, right there on the screen for you and it's much easier to navigate now when we pull down the notification bar You can see the notification bar has some changes. So now you can now go in line by line and take out um, Remove notifications. You don't have to actually take the whole thing away So I can do that and take that line away so on and so forth um, All together of course I can clear all if you choose now the very top of your notification uh, center you have your um, of course, quick uh, task icons, which you can expand and show all the quick task icons there. So you do have, um, of course, your screen brightness, airplane mode, availability for Wi-Fi, internet sharing, and then you can go into the settings themselves. This is where you find um, a lot of things in the settings. I'm actually in one section of the settings here, so I'm actually going to go back to the home main page of the settings. This is your full settings here. This is what it looks like. A little bit more organized, less the distraction we had before. You can see we have system, devices, network, wireless, personalization, um, accounts, time, language, um, ease of access, privacy, update recovery, and extras. So starting off with system, you can go through. We have display, um, notification and actions, Cortana, speech, storage sense, drive mode, maps. Find phone, office, photos, wallet about us. So all the, all the different things you saw, some of the some of these things have changed in terms of look. Um, I'm actually going to drop down my exposure here just a little so you guys can take a better look. So you can see there, you can see how it looks for brightness. You can set it auto and off. If you go back, same thing with notifications. You can select your different notifications. Now, some of those menus are the same. Some are different. Some of them have been updated. This is kind of what you find in Windows 8.1. And then Cortana and speech. This is also you can customize Cortana there. And then we've got uh, speech, which just shows us some of the speech settings that we use on Windows Phone. And then we can go here to Storage Sense. That looks like the old Storage Sense. We've got uh, Drive Mode. Same, same. Looks like the same thing. Maps, which allows you to download off the offline maps and things like that. Um, we've got find my phone, of course, which is allows you to find your device if missing office, of course, doing some office setup here. Um, pho photos and camera, OneDrive, location storage, uh, camera is a Lumia camera, Nokia camera, camera. You can change those, of course. Your wallet, set, set that up. Uh, about, of course, device gives you the information on this device itself, tells you what version of software it's running, USB, uh, ask for USB and notify me when I'm connected to slow charger, and then device description uh, encryption. So that's what you find in system. Um, this is network and wireless, which I just kind of jumped into. You've got data sense, you know, sharing, air airplane mode, cellular and SIM tells you what you're using here um, in terms of your cellular service, you can do internet sharing, of course, as you know quite well. And uh, of course, your Wi-Fi setup for your device, those things still look similar. Um, device and Bluetooth keyboard, so you have NFC, of course, Bluetooth keyboard here. Um, you can add keyboards, but just keyboard languages. So there's nothing special in terms of adding, say, a Swift key or something like that in the future. That's not there yet. Uh, we've got personalization and backgrounds, where, of course, we can personalize our backgrounds by choosing the background image, removing that, and showing more tiles, of course, or less tiles if we choose. Um, we've got sounds, ringtones, vibrate, play for sound. Still very basic looking in terms of menu. I do, this happens sometimes. It sometimes tends to kick back out um, from the main menu. Now, if we go to um, uh, multitask there, you can, of course, swipe up and down. Or you can X things out. 
if you choose so I'm just gonna go back to the settings here and see what I have so that's my lock screen again like I mentioned it is it is a uh, it is a preview beta so you do have some of those things that do happen in terms of uh, options so we're in accounts where you can put your account email sync setting workplace kids corner basic stuff there time and language and time language of region that's also very basic um, you do have ease of access uh, privacy and then Windows update where you of course you update your phone and then we can also back up our device if we choose to so those settings still look similar. It's just been um, cleaned up. Now your extras, all the extras that your manufacturers would put, these are all Nokia extras in there. So uh, those, the options are really tiny to access, but still leads you back to the same mode. So if this was a Samsung device, whatever Samsung extras would be in there um, in terms of hardware extras or some of these software features mixed with hardware will go in here. So that's that. That's what you have in the settings menu. It looks pretty nice. They still need to clean up a few things so that the UI looks, um, you know, seamless and tied together. But I do like the step forward there. Now, a couple of other things to to note here. So uh, besides the notification tray, uh, if you go into, say, text messages, you can see um, we have, of course, drafts. I'm going to go on into a draft that I had. And um, I want to show you the keyboard. So the keyboard has a new change to it. So you see that like almost uh, ThinkPad uh, center button there, um, kind of kind of thing. What that allows you to do is, say you wanted to move ar across the screen, you can move. I don't know if you guys can see that clearly. I'm actually going to drop this again so you can see this just a little better. All right. So you see my cursor right there. I want to move that down to where it says keyboard. So I can basically go to the center of the pad drop that down and I'm down I can go up I can go left I can go right with it so this is almost like a directional pad right here on your keypad so that's that's a nice new feature of course you got voice prompts that come up um, and that's always you know I think that's tied to Cortana but again it's just quickly immediately type in as I'm talking uh, which which is nice we'll see how that works in testing it uh, so far, <laughs> it, it looks like it's doing a pretty decent, nah, no, not really. It's failing right there. But anyway, so that's that's the change you see on the keyboard here uh, in terms of what you see with the new keyboard uh, uh, messaging. Now, if we go into uh, the phone, some things have changed. Um, you can see your history is changed on the top. You've got speed dial also on the top. Um, and uh, and also your dialer has changed too. You can see it's just much smaller, more spread out. So and um, and of course, if I had to dial a number here, like this, you can see Skype is also available uh, for your calls right there. So if this is this contact had the Skype number, definitely you could actually um, call them or switch to a Skype call, uh, which is nice. So that that's a change. Now the the gallery is also changed. In there, uh, one thing to mention: you cannot use the new Lumia camera just because the AT&T version doesn't have that specific denim update yet. But um, we can go into the gallery and show you the gallery is similar to what you have in Windows 10. So uh, you do have collections, albums, folders. Those are not available. Albums and folders are not available yet. But you can go into the gallery settings or your and change a few things like uh, your view and editing, photo tiles, show recent photos. Um, that's pretty much the only option I have sources and things like that so another thing to note is that you can also have certain live tiles to actually have the same size as Windows uh, Windows live tiles on PC so Cortana I can see is a Windows 10 app so um, I can customize it to almost uh, four different sizes actually let me head back here again I can customize it to four different sizes and I can make it small super large medium there so actually five in total but you have that ability uh in there and if we go into our start um our app screen or start you have of course your list of apps and also recently installed apps actually shows you what's recently been installed on your system there so that is a nice note um we've been using it for just a couple of hours here and uh we like what we see there's still a lot of things that need to be uh done to it um, in terms of functionality and also just aesthetics. But overall, I'm liking what I see with Windows 10 technical preview for phones. Uh, in terms of camera, we cannot use the Lumia camera, as I mentioned. 
uh, because of course we're not running the specific denim update in here so we have to use the regular camera uh, app or the or the Nokia camera app any one of those apps will work at the time being for it so that's pretty much it guys if you have any questions or any comments let us know this is Windows 10 technical preview uh, for Windows Phone on the Lumia 830. Uh, we'll keep you updated with more updates on there, any major changes um, on this device. Uh, some of you are probably wondering what about uh, things like the marketplace hasn't changed in look or feel. Uh, still looks the same. Nothing uh, is new here um, in that regard altogether. Or here, here drive, same thing with those. So, so most of the applications haven't actually changed in look or feel. Just some of the uh, things around. So. We'll see how well this uh, this handles and this works uh, all together, but um, we like some of the things that Microsoft has done. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. Otherwise, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and favorite this video so we can make more videos for you. Do subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.